first effect is HDR eye adaptation. The sunlight in the doorway seems bright when we are in the shadow, and it fades gradually when we come to a lit area. The effect comes from the ability of eyes to adjust to the brightness of environmental conditions. If you stay long in the dark and then look at the sun, some parts of the sky around it will be polluted with a large light spot, which will diffuse in a while and you'll be able to see the clouds better. The next effect is God rays. It is an imitation of the atmospheric phenomenon when rays of light seem to be solid and palpable. Being reconstructed in the engine, they flow around the objects which are between the source of light and eyes of player. We did our best to present in our engine the view of the space that you could behold standing in the pet house of a 100 story skyscraper, foreshore of the oceans, birds hovering, and clouds scattered across the sky. The sun is a dynamic source of light and can move across the sky affecting the shadows and the intensity of city illumination. Projected diffused light is another feature of our engine. We are able to create different sources of light and move them without limitations. Soft dynamic shadows are also implemented. As a result, both static and relocatable items can cast shadows. Nearly all items can be moved. Every one of them has its weight. It is easier to move light items than heavy ones. The next effect is reflection. You can spot it at smooth surfaces, for example on a marble polished floor. The degree of reflection depends on the material and light, for example reflections are well visible on the lead glasses, but poorly on shaded ones. We also implemented refraction, the distortion of light when passing through different environments. You can notice caustic surface, imitation of light reflected from water ripples. During shooting, several effects are demonstrated at once – burst of flame, dispersed source of light, systems of particles. When hitting metal things, they emit sparks. If you hit a wall, there will be cement dust. Armored glass will cover with spider web-like cracks. There are destroyable objects in the game, which react vigorously on blows and shots. Items and splinters act similar to the real world. They fall in accordance with laws of physics, interact with each other, and follow the impulse produced by a bullet. Bullets hit different materials, they leave marks, splittings on wood, chips on glass, scratches on metal and cracks on marble. 